Hey everyone, today's tutorial is for a really fun kind of like tan and silverish sparkle. Yeah, a lot of glitterish sparkle on the lids. Um, it's really, really fun and I love it. I was totally inspired to do this by a look that Jennifer Lopez wore on American Idol a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't watch American it was probably more than a couple of weeks ago. I don't really remember exactly. I'm doing this totally from memory. When I saw it, it kind of stuck in my mind. And I was like, I have to do a tutorial on that. So I'm just not getting around to it. Um, I do not have a picture of it. I will try to find one. I don't know if I'll be able to do that since it was just a look that I saw wearing on the show. But um, if I do, I will post it in my blog. Link below. Um, if not, I will just do what I usually do. I post pictures of me wearing the look. Uh, so you can kind of see closer, you know, what it looks like. And, um, so you can get more detail as to, like, how it looks. And a list of all the products that I use. Hope that you guys enjoy it. So if you guys keep watching, I will show you how to do the look step by step. Okay, so the first step is to apply a base. I'm going to use this. It's a paint pot by MAC. It's called Vintage Selection. Um, if you want to prevent creasing, you can put down, like, an eyeshadow primer ahead of time that doesn't have any color to it. I didn't today. Um, I'm just going to take my chances. And I'm just using this brush by Sigma. It's like a MAC 217. It's, you know, looks like that. And my battery light's flashing. That's always great. So I'm going to do this and change my battery. But what you want to do is just kind of apply it all the way up the brow bone. It's going to add some sparkle. If you have Bare Steady Paint Pot, that works fine. I believe this one was a limited edition shade. So Okay, battery is changed and we are good to go. Alright, so make sure that it's really blended out. I kind of like the way, it, kind of the effect you get when you apply like a frosted taupe-ish shadow, like a brownish taupe shadow um, over a brown. So I'm going to use this. These are amazing. They're the 24-7 eyeshadow pencils by Urban Decay and this one is Wasteland. It's probably one of my favorite ones. I've used it a couple times and I really love it. Doing this just kind of gives that lighter shade that you apply over it a little more depth. The color that I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Ruthless. It's one of those that looks like this. It has the dinosaur and the robot on the front. Um, if you have a color like, this is a good one too, but it's a limited edition. Um, it's MAC and it's called Style Snob. This one's a little more purple, that would work too. Just anything that's like a brown that has a lot of frost to it, that's kind of like a silvery brownish frost. Taking a flat brush, this is a Sigma E60. And I'm just going to pat that on over it. We're going to apply our crease color. Um, for that, I really want a warm, almost like tannish brown. Um, I'm going to apply two different colors to get that effect. I'm going to start off with this color by MAC called Swiss Chocolate. It's a very kind of warm brown. And I'm using this E40 brush by Sigma. And I'm just getting it right into my crease. Not really overlapping the silver. I'm kind of pointing the brush upward like that. Not so much like down in the crease but kind of on the underside of my brow bone like that. Okay, then I'm going to take bronze by MAC, which is right here, and just kind of very lightly apply that over it. For my brow highlight, I'm just going to use rice paper, which is right there. Any light color, whatever you want to use will work. I'm just going to dab that right underneath my eyebrow. This is an E50 by Sigma. Take a small pointed brush, or just a little kind of small flat brush. This is an E20 by Sigma. And I'm just going to get that bronze shade and apply that kind of connecting to this outer corner and right underneath my lower lash line. And then where that meets, I'm going to take a silver shade and for that I'm going to use Delectra. I'm going to be kind of careful with that though because it's more of a bluish silver. Um, and just apply that very, very lightly to your inner corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this product, which I absolutely love. It looks like it's pink, but it's not. Um, it's the Torina Tarantino Sparklicity Pure Sparkle Powder, which is really, really awesome. It looks almost like a really fine glitter, but it's just, it's really, really cool. Just a really light sparkly powder. And it works over really any color. I love it. I find that it stays on really well. Like, you don't always have to apply it over something wet or anything for it to stick. I'm taking the same E60 brush by Sigma, and I just dabbed it into the powder. I'm just going to tap a little bit in the lid and dab it right over the silver part of my, or the, yeah, silver part of my lid. 
And I'm not going to go up so much on the tan, but you do want to kind of get it in the crease a little bit so it lightly or just slightly overlaps the tan and then you're really going to get a nice sparkly effect. Just really like, ah, I don't know, I just love it. Alright, then for my eyeliner, I'm going to use this EO5 brush by Sigma, just a little pointed liner brush. I'm using Dip Down Fluid Line by MAC, which is brown. It's the most perfect brown liner. Apply that to your upper lash line. And apply some mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Alright, so for my cheeks, I used a little bit of the So Ceylon um, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, which a lot of you asked about the last time I used this, and it is a limited edition shade, but any bronzer will do. And for my cheeks, I used the, oh, my necklace is falling off. That's not good. It's like a really long necklace, and I had it rigged up where it was like, hanging shorter. Oh well, can't fix it now, because it slipped out. Uh, for my cheeks, I used the Exposed Amazonian Clay Longwear Blush by Tarte. So much. Um, I'm going to do a review on those. Well, I'm going to film the review after this. I think I'm going to post this one first. Yeah, a review on those is coming. It's good stuff. So I used this Ravishing Lipstick by MAC, which is the perfect coral. Um, it's really pretty and bright, but it's not too like crazy or clown-like. Um, coral is going to be really big for the spring. And then over that, just to kind of tone it down a little bit and give it some shine um, and a little bit of like a golden shimmer, I used the Nymphette Luster, or no, Lip Gloss, which I really love. And that's it. I hope that you all enjoyed it and that you'll try it out. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.